Rich Molly here, game four of the NBA Finals. He's almost halftime, and my beloved Celtics are down. But why it's halftime, I'm going to tell you about my favorite video basketball games, baby. Oh, yeah. First up, at the top of the order, we got Double Dunk for the 2600 series on Atari. Did you know also, with the Sega Genesis controller, you can play Atari games? I'm about to show you. Look! They're exactly the same. As you can tell, scratchy screen there. The game was made in 1989 and I love the flash dance that they're doing right here. Look at them go. You can pick which style game you want and even what style jersey you want for this game. The gist of the game is is you have to play and you're playing two on two and you, here goes a shot and nothing but net. Two point shot and the game freezes on me. Apparently the Sega Genesis controller doesn't work as well as I thought. Since that game didn't work, we'll go on to the next one on our lineup. Larry Byrne on the 7800 series versus Dr. J. By the way, Larry Bird, greatest player of all time and my personal favorite. Great NBA legend, great player. But back to the game. Before we start out with the game, I gotta look at this cover here and look at Dr. J as he's gracing the cover and his juicy man sweat. The game came out in 1983 as Dr. J had just won his first NBA championship and Larry Bird two years before that in 1981. They both graced the cover because of their NBA star status. The game was revolutionary for its time because it called fouls, you could shoot free throws, and if you shot it just right, you could shatter the backboard. And after that, you get to see my little friend Sanchez the official clean up the glass. Ooh, Dr. J, spitting glass out your ass. Now to our third game on Nintendo Tecmo Basketball. Amidst its recent success during the early 90s with Tecmo Bowl for football, its furious release and ratings, Tecmo released Tecmo Basketball. This game had impressive cinematic styles for the early 90s. Despite the limitations of its 8-bit graphics, it still had detailed court and player design. Even though it had ghost-like images, it still was one of the first games to include 5-on-5 five -five play. This is the only game to include the Los Angeles Clippers on its cover and it include many other NBA legends such as Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, and Michael Jordan. Now with the game just finished and the Celtics with the greatest comeback in NBA history, I saved the best for last. Oh my! He's on fire! NBA Jam was the cornerstone of basketball games for its time and its predecessors and the originator of the Sexy Lizard. Showtime. Tonight's matchup, Lakers versus Celtics. The game was so good for its time, it even made George Lucas cream in his pants. And if you played the game just right, you'd get sounds like this. Boom, Sakalaka! Ugly shot! Plays it up! He's on fire! Wide open! Keep in mind that I'm excluding many of the other great basketball games out there, including Barclays, Shut Up and Jam, White Men Can't Jump the Game, and the NBA Live Series. That's a wrap now, folks. Stay tuned next time for our next video game review when we go back in time. And by the way, Jackie, you can't handle the truth. See you later, baby. Come on and slam!